Welcome, friend, to Life and Liberty Radio. I'm David Householder, here to encourage your pursuit of happiness. You and our partners exploring our shared spiritual journeys. Together, we're dreaming and working for a free society. Tell others today about our adventure in faith and freedom. So breathe in, open your mind, lift up your spirit. Let's get started. Well, I waited for evening today. Normally, I have these things ready in the morning. I post them in the morning. But I want to talk today about evening prayer. For whatever reason, I get the sense that mornings and evenings, sunrise, sunset, seems to be the best time for people to pray. Now, you can pray any time. There's no limitation on when the best time to pray happens to be. But the truth is, most people in most places during most periods of history have enjoyed praying in the morning and in the evening. It seems to be a, a spiritual time as we wake up and we prepare for the day. And then as we close the day, in the morning, in the Latin church, the Western church, they call that matins, from which we get the word matinee or a morning show, which of course it isn't. It's an afternoon movie. And then we get Vespers in the evening or Compline for even later at night. So there's Matins and Vespers, morning prayer and evening prayer. And this is not just in the in the Christian tradition. Certainly in the Jewish tradition, there's these evening prayers on the Sabbath Eve because for the Hebrew people, the day begins actually at sunset the day before. So Saturday begins on Friday at sunset. Sunday begins Saturday at sunset and so on. So it goes sunset to sunset where we think of midnight to, to midnight. So if you think about it, this is this makes total sense. So if you're starting a prayer discipline or a time of meditation or whatever you call it in your tradition, in my Christian tradition, we call it prayer time, it's important to choose the one of those two that works the best for you. In other words, if you're a morning person and you want to get a spiritual discipline going, the best time to do that is in the mornings. And then once you get that established, you use that spiritual strength to sort of colonize another second prayer time in the evenings. Now, if you're a night owl, like my wife and like other people are, I, I just can't even think hardly after 9 o'clock. I can't imagine having my main prayer focus meditation study time in the evening, whereas some people, they're at their best. And so you want to start then in the evenings, and then once you get good at that, move that into the mornings. I think praying twice a day is, is a wonderful thing. I've never been able to do it until this year. This is 2013. And I've always been really good at praying in the morning. I'm up way before most people. Uh, a lot of people don't know that there's two four o'clocks. I do. I like to get up early. I often like to go surfing or go to the gym, or I like to look at podcasts or some something I can learn, something that gets my mind rolling, kind of caffeine for the brain, not so much chemical, but looking at something that kind of gets me revved up thinking and uh, gets me into sort of a cruising mode. And then I like to spend some time in prayer in the morning, getting my thoughts focused and getting my goals together for the day and just being grateful for waking up and being grateful for the day and trying to develop a, a fear-free attitude and a, a, a sense of confidence for what I can do during the day. And so my prayer time in the morning has been really easy, whereas I've had a lot of trouble praying in the evenings. I, in fact, I'm not very productive after supper time. I always tell myself that I'm going to get so much done after supper. But the truth is, I often don't get very much done at all because I'm a morning person. So in the evenings, I have never developed, in my five decades of life, I've never developed a, a time of prayer that really worked for me in the evenings. been strong in the morning, weak in the evenings. And I want to change that. I want to start praying twice a day. And if I could just take the strength of the morning prayer and move it into the evening, I kept thinking, well, hey, that would, would work. But what I've done is something sort of different. What I've done in the evenings is I've lowered my expectations for what I'm going to do. I don't try to recreate what I do in the morning because the morning 
is ramping up and energizing and getting ready for the day and thinking big thoughts and uh, getting my mind rolling, getting some electricity going through my brain. Whereas that would be inappropriate in the evening. And I think a lot of my failure in prayer in the evenings has been because I've been trying to recreate the morning. Would you like to see people's faith come alive in your church? Wouldn't it be good to see new people make friends and see people learn as they grow in the content of our faith? If so, check out the Blackberry Bush course for your congregation, blackberrybush.org. Bring your church on a spiritual treasure hunt. So what I'm trying to do here is to do something entirely different. So uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to start praying in the evenings, and it's been working. And here's what's worked for me. And and please don't feel like you have to copy what I'm doing, because <laughs> with prayer, one size does not fit all. And uh, you really need to find what works for you. What works for me, believe it or not, is lighting a candle. Uh, I've never been a candle guy. I can go a whole year without lighting a candle. And I I thought, well, hey, I've got some candles here. I'm going to light a candle. And it really did work. It held my attention. And I let the room get dark, and I light a candle. It gets me kind of focused. And then what I do is I try to go back over the day and sense when the Lord was present, when the Holy Spirit was present during the day, and to try to evaluate the day and to try to tell the story of the day through the eyes of, through the spiritual eyes of faith, rather than just what happened or what I could have taken a picture of. Because I think how we tell the story of our lives is really important. And then I look forward to the next day, but just real lightly. I hold it very loosely, and then I pray for a good rest and for dreams that will speak to me. So it's been a lot more low-key, and it's worked really, really well. Whereas in the mornings, I tend to uh, get real focused get my mind revved up. I tend to kneel in the mornings, whereas I tend to sit facing a candle in the evenings. But it works really well to kneel in the mornings, to get real grounded and focused and uh, and to pray. So the success for me has come in not trying to turn my evening prayer into my morning prayer time. So I'm hoping that you'll develop a couple of prayer times during the day. Of course, you pray constantly, and this doesn't mean you don't pray during other times. But I think it's important to spend some time when we're not multitasking and to give the Lord, to give the Creator, to give the Spirit a sense of undivided attention, where you're not just doing dishes and praying or driving and praying. Now, please hear me. All that stuff is great, but I hope there's some undivided time you spend uh, with your soul, with the Lord, however you want to describe those things. I think the labels we put on them are so lacking sometimes. But uh, please do continue to pray and do more of what works and less of what doesn't. When I'm praying I, in the evenings now, I'm finding that the mornings are working better because if I pray in the evening, then it's not a 24-hour stretch to my next undivided attention prayer. And when I would do that in the mornings, I would lose track of where I was spiritually somewhere in the evening, and I'd have to kind of gather my thoughts again in the morning. And I'm finding my morning prayers are a lot more effective having had some evening prayer time. So in this incredibly distracted world we live in, I want to invite you to some undivided prayer, to some time where you can focus on your Creator and on your truest self And eventually, over time, work it up to a couple of times a day. My prayers are with you. Have a wonderful evening. Well, that's all for today on Life and Liberty Radio. Thanks so much for sharing this part of your spiritual journey with me. Now, the views on this program are not necessarily those of my advertisers, sponsors, places I work or do business with. They're purely my own, but I'm sharing them with you, so share your ideas with me. Write me on Twitter at Liberty House, L-I-B-E-R-T-Y-H-O-U-S, no E. Until next time, let's continue dreaming and working.
for a free and spiritually grounded society.